Hey everyone, so this video will be divided into three parts. First, my review on this book without spoilers. Second, what this book is about without spoilers. And lastly, the whole story with spoilers of course. So let's get into the first point and please don't forget to like and subscribe. So I will give this book 3 stars because I'm not into a book about science and doctor etc. And if you are into sunshine, heroine, grumpy hero and fake dating books then you can give it a go. I think this book is good for newbie romance readers and this book is kinda overrated. Olive Smith, who is a third year PhD student, doesn't think long lasting love relationship exists, but her best friend does, which is how she ended up in this predicament. It was always going to take more than a hand to persuade her best friend named Ann that Olive is in a relationship and is on the road to happily ever after. In her distress, Olive kisses the first man she comes across. That person is Adam Carlson, who is a brilliant young professor. The love hypothesis is set in the present day and centers on Olive Smith who is a graduate biology student at Stanford University who is also 26 years old. While Olive's research primarily focuses on pancreatic cancer, each chapter also unfolds a theory about Olive's romantic history or decision making that is related to that chapter's content. Olive's out-of-date contacts start acting up right before her Stanford PhD application interview, which takes place two years before the story's major events. One of the greatest biologists in the world, Adam Carlson, whom she encounters while waiting for I to stop watering in the restroom, though she doesn't find out it was him until the book conclusion is introduced to her. His wise word convinces Olive that grad school is the right choice and two weeks later she accepts an offer to study at Stanford. Nearly three years have passed and Olive is attempting to persuade her best friend to date her ex-boyfriend by telling her that she is over him. On the night, Olive had planned to go on a date. She is working in the lab when she notices her companion walking by. Olive kisses the first man she sees, who happens to be Adam, in an attempt to appear on a date. Adam wants an explanation because he is known to be cruel and frightening. Olive apologizes for the kiss and explains her situation then takes off, praying she won't run into him again. Olive's friend confronts her in a lab a few days later, but Adam shows up before Olive can make up an excuse and then he treats her with kindness, persuading Olive's friend that their connection is real. Adam needs to persuade Stanford, that is why he is staying in order to get his research fund unfrozen. And Olive wants to maintain the parody until her friend is happily in a relationship. In the hopes that their fictional relationship will be advantageous to all the parties, the two decide to pretend that they are dating for one month. Olive focuses on pancreatic cancer early detection. She dedicates her life to this disease so that others won't lose loved ones to pancreatic cancer because it was discovered too late when her mother passed away from it. Olive reaches out to other academics at various colleges in quest of a better life for the falling stage of her study, but only one replied her that was Tom Benton from Harvard. Olive is working on her study in the hopes that he will let her use his lab when he visits Stanford in few weeks. She starts to visit Adam once a week at the college coffee shop to maintain her appearances with him in the meantime. Tom Benton goes on Olive's second fictional date with them. He turns out to be Adam's friend and he's eager to meet the woman everyone has been talking about. Tom asks a report by the end of the week after hearing Olive's research. A few days later, Tom offers her a position in his lab for the upcoming year. A paper Olive submitted to a conference in Boston is mentioned in an email that Olive gets. She will have to give a speech as her paper was chosen for a panel, even though she is afraid. Adam helps her get ready till she feels more prepared. Olive is left to share Adam's hotel room because her pals find other places to stay during the conference. Adam's keynote address conflicts with Olive's panel which means he won't be able to attend as he had promised because Adam is also the keynote speaker. Following the panel, Tom approaches Olive forcibly. She pushes him away and says she'll report him. 
then tom criticizes olive calling her average and talentless and then threatens to publish her findings under his name after this event adam discovers olive sobbing in their hotel room olive explains what occurred but leaves out the identity of the offender they stay together all night he tells a similar scenario from his graduate school days and they have an intimate moment Following a few days of grappling with her feelings, Olive decided to quit her relationship with Adam because she believed it is a proper thing to do. When she finally reconnects with her friends, they overhear Tom insulting them on the recording Olive made after the panel. They pursued Olive to be honest with Adam and report Tom. Tom is let go by Harvard and Olive and Adam reconcile. This book ends with the two continue to reside in California while Olive obtain a new lab position that is closer to Stanford.